What is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and today I am delighted to be showing you my brand new Ibanez AZ24 fret. I've been waiting for this for a couple of weeks now and yeah, I've just been super excited to have a 24 fret guitar. Six string, I do have the seven with 24 frets, um, but yeah, I've always kind of liked the idea of just six strings. It just feels a little bit more comfortable for certain things which I play. But yeah, this is essentially a 24 fret AZ with this beautiful kind of um, tobacco almost color, I would say. That looks like to me. 
very similar to the Ibanez 2204B, except for these 24 frets. Um, I am an Ibanez artist, so this review may be a little bit biased, if you like. Um, but yeah, since I received the 2204B, I was just kind of missing having that option of 24 frets. I never thought I would use it, if I'm totally honest. And then it came to playing some of the material off um, Escapades and I realized I actually use it a lot more than I think that upper register. Um, so yeah, this was kind of my axe of choice, if you like. Now, what are the differences? Well, essentially, I think it's pretty much the same neck profile as most of the AZs. It feels very, very similar to the um, six string I have over there. It's Prestige model, so that is made in Japan. The first differences I'm seeing anyway is these cool looking vintage volume pots. I really, really like them. Um, the pickups, I believe, are the same. They are the Seymour Duncan Hyperion pickups. Just this one isn't covered like on that one, so you do get a bit more um, beef to it, I think, anyway. We've got the dynamic switch here, so it's a five-way switch, but then obviously we get all kinds of different combinations if we engage that up. Um, I've found so far that I actually prefer it down, so I don't know, just those pickup configurations sound nicer to my ears and um, you have a roasted maple fretboard you have the goto um lock-in tuners that's probably the only thing that i would maybe change out um i really like the ones on the seven string on the new az seven string where you have you know like the screw on lock-in tuners they are just way easier for me to restring if say i snap a string at a gig whenever <laughs> they return but um as a guy that tends to snap loads of strings there's a funny story in that i think the record was like three in a first set once and um, that would just be a little bit handier than having to get the coin out and um, you know and releasing the tension so that would be probably the only thing that i change about it other than that i think it's gorgeous and um, dual humbucker we have floating bridge and yeah, just the, the main selling point for me with this one was the fact that it's 24 frets. So it gives me that extra range. But yeah, the, all the tones you heard at the beginning there, for those of you that are interested, my signal chain is basically this into, I have a PreSonus Quantum 2626 over here. That's kind of new. Um, and I am using the Neural DSP Fort and Cali suite there with, I have the archetype Abassi actually as my reverb and delay on there. I just think they sound really cool for those kind of ambient tones. But yeah, what I love about this is even with that humbucker sound, it doesn't sound too muddy to me. I really, really like the sound of it. Feel wise as well, the neck is super easy to play. It's a bit chunkier than um, say, I mean, I don't know actually, cause I haven't had the direct comparison, but from my memory, it feels a little bit chunkier than say like you know a, a normal Ibanez RG or something like that maybe a little bit chunkier than the strap but I kind of like it I like the way that I can dig into bends so anyway enough of me blabbering on about the guitar and um, let's hear some more tones so this is just a Fort and Cali suite like I say and um, with archetype Abassi for reverb and delay and listen to how that bridge pickup actually sorry neck pickup actually doesn't sound too muddy it's got a real nice quality to it That's where I like that extra range. Now, of course, we still have all of the spank of the split coils as well. It's a little bit different from, say, um, the AZ2204B's split coil sound, but it's still lovely and spanky. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Then I'd switch to the bridge and yeah, that is super shred. Why don't we check out then some of the clean sounds then? So give me two seconds and I'll be right there. Tiny bit out of tune there, but... Even with the tone rolled off, that can sound kind of cool. (laughs) 
yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this guitar. So, just to kind of sum it up then, I'm sure you will be seeing me playing a lot of this, considering that I like that extended range. Um, if you do want to check it out, it's, I'm sure, available Toman, those kind of places. In fact, I'll leave links down below. Some of them may be affiliate links, so if you do want to purchase something through Toman or something like that, then um, you'll be helping me out, just full disclosure. I always leave it in there anyway, um, but yeah. This is the AZ2204, no, it's the 2402, <laughs> I always get those numbers mixed up, 24 fret version, and yeah, just a wonderful instrument. Guys, um, if you are a long time subscriber here, I apologise for the lack of free lessons on a Friday at the minute. I am just finishing um, release number two, I can't say too much about it yet. It's going to be awesome though, and I have just had a little baby, so yeah, Eva, she's uh, been taking up my time recently, so I'm hoping to get back to these as soon as I can, but please guys, just bear with me for the next two Fridays or so, and then we'll be back to normal service. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed that, please do like, comment, let me know what you think of it. Do you prefer this one, or do you prefer the AZ2204B? Let's get those numbers mixed up. Let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. You guys know the gist. It just helps the channel grow. Anyway, guys, my name is Jack Gardner, and thank you for watching again. Until next time, cheers.